Islam was dropped. She was two years old. And after that, she went to school and seemed to be doing well. And suddenly, when she was 12 years old, she had been a star athlete for her school. She developed sores on her body and weakness, and it was leukemia from the radiation, which many people fell victim to that weren't among the 100,000 who were killed immediately by the bomb. While she was dying, she wished for peace and, of course, for life. And there was a legend in Japan that if you fold 1,000 paper cranes, you will get your wish. Most versions of her story say she did not get to the 1,000, but her friends and actually the rest of the world has been making paper cranes ever since. And that was her work for peace. So we might reflect on the many ways of working for peace as we walk meditatively, and Mary will say a few words about how we are walking. Um, once again, thanks for coming out on this very steamy evening to the 73rd anniversary of the commemoration of the dropping of the first nuclear weapon on a civilian, largely civilian population in Hiroshima in 1945. Um, this is a silent walk. In case there are some of you that are unfamiliar with walking meditation, it's a definitely a more um, a slower pace, more relaxed. Um, we can make each step the sole of our foot as we contact the earth. The only focus of our concentration and our mindfulness, whether our steps are long or short, stable, unstable, we can, it is possible to walk in a way where we surrender and where, where we um, offer our whole being into, into the earth. Um, there's a saying from a man named A.J. Musty, there is no way to peace, peace is the way. Peace is something we can create in the here and the now. We don't need to wait until after the next election or the end of the world, we don't. We, we ha it, there has been no time as important as in now to work to actively create peace. And my teacher Thich Nhat Hanh has taught walking meditation for many, many years. There will be bells throughout the walk. Glenda at the rear inviting the, a bell, small bell, an Incan, and Kenzan at the front inviting a bell. However, at 7.15, at the hour that the bomb was dropped, adjusted for Eastern Standard Time, both Glenda and Kenzan will invite the bell rapidly for a longer duration. And at that point, we stop. We may, if we're meditators, want to return to the flow of our breath as a prayer to the universe. We may want to offer a prayer for the end of all war, for world peace, however, but we want to stop and we want to stop not only our walking, our body, but also do best to stop our mind from the constant, often useless thinking that we often engage in, in the 21st century. So I thank you all for coming out again and um
other people around the world are gathered also to commemorate the dropping of the first atomic bomb by the United States. There is a memorial in Hiroshima to the victims. Over 150 nations were invited to send representatives to this commemoration ceremony in Hiroshima. As last I heard, the United States, who dropped the bomb, had not accepted the invitation. So we are here to accept the invitation for our country. Walking tonight down State Street, headed west, my senses were a little bit more awake and keen, and I looked at the sun setting, beautiful green, and it, it just struck me how short and fleeting and precious the human life is. We're here such a short time. And to me, when I think, if there is an antidote to war, it's to awaken that love of life, that sense of how precious it is to walk on two feet, to be able to look at the sunset, green, beautiful people. Um, that gratitude is, to me, it's, it's key in, in prevention. beginning the path to reconciliation.
and I would see many times at Buddhist temples the Buddha, and each side of the Buddha was an armed warrior. And I, I remember it hitting me, but that is what the military should be for, to protect the weak, to protect the, to protect the Buddhas in us. And it was just a metaphor in Japan that struck me. Maybe it doesn't fit Roshan today, but I think, I think the metaphor is still good. That if there's strength, it should be used to support the weak. around the world down by the riverside down by Also the time of Obon and the Obon festival is the, the Japanese invite back their departed relatives they invite them back for festivities for feasts and dancing and then at the end of that time at the end of these festivities they're sent back to the spirit world via lanterns put into the river candle <coughs> lanterns sent down the river is sending then the relatives back. And perhaps with these candle boats, we can be launching our intention. What is our, our intention perhaps for peace in the world? How do we want to cultivate that ground of peace within ourselves? So to encourage this atmosphere of, of prayerful intention, then we'll, we'll have a chant that we'll do as we head down the path and, and launch these candle boats. This chant is a Buddhist chant that's often used in uh, peace walks, in walks for nuclear disarmament. And the chant goes, Nam Myo Horenge Kyo. And we'll do it as call and response. So please join in. Nam Myo Yeah. 